Welcome back everyone and welcome back to some more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to farm. Uh, I was not able to get as much done in, um, outside of recording as I intended to. farm out my levels today uh, because I really want to I can't see it in here but I want to work on getting my skills upgraded as well as uh, purchasing the remaining items from the merchants uh, any sen I accumulate outside of that I can use towards getting um, what are they called Spirits for the um, prosthetic. Spirit emblems. I can just go into that because I'm going to need more spirit emblems going forward. Bear with me, we're going to be dealing with a couple of farming episodes uh, today. Just because. I feel like this is going to be the most useful going forward. Gets these skills going for me. There's a couple that I have my eyes on that I want to get today. Uh, and there's a couple that I can kind of gloss over for now. But we're just going to play this nice and safe and take out as many as we can. Excuse me. He just turned away, so I am able to take him out. And wait for you to turn around, then I can rush you. hang down over here just to avoid his attention. There we go. Easy. And there's skill point four. Or four skill points for us. I believe the next upgrade I want to get is five. So we're just going to keep here until we get to that point. Uh, acquire skills. Yeah, I already got this one. Breath of Life, Lights. Every time I perform uh, a death blow, I get healed. Uh, I think it was... Yeah. Oh, it's four. That's fantastic. So we'll go ahead and get this. And then it's five. Okay, so I want to get this one before we proceed. I also want to go ahead and get... Uh, Ichi Manji, just so I can see what these are, uh, and determine if I feel like getting those as well. So, we still have quite a bit of leveling to go. I feel like after this, we should have enough Sen to be able to purchase everything we need and not really have to focus on using any uh, materials. Here. 
And let's start the murder spree. I'm gonna save up until I get five because I really want the uh, the gourd stuff. I'm gonna be using that a lot more than I may or may not be using the PC And then once we get uh, these skills taken care of, I'm gonna go through Ashina Castle. I'm not gonna worry about fighting that guy just yet because I still think there's some more I need to do. Uh, the boss isn't necessarily going to disappear, I don't think. So we can always come back and challenge him later on. How did I get your attention from that? You don't look this far. Make my way over to get this strike on him again. Which is fantastic. Okay, he spotted me somehow when he wasn't even looking this way. But he can't get to me, so we're fine. through that by itself almost gave me an entire level so it's not going to take too long to get these levels up <clears throat> am i forgetting anything that i want from here press sound would be nice uh i still think i want these though that's going to help my healing so I won't have to use uh, two gores to fully heal up I just want to draw the power of that tool into the sword and release it into a forward direction I don't have any prosthetics for that just yet but I don't I don't think it would really hurt blood spattered upon the prosthetic turns to a permanent rust proof of the user's burden I think it's just both of these just increase the maximum number of spirit emblems used. They're just called different things. That's why I want to get this and this, because I, I think these are going to be nice, especially since the information is locked on them. Oops, not the rest. And rest. Oh god. Uh, please someone. Okay, that did not result in permadeath. Oop. There we go. Take care of you.
Luckily, these guys' patterns are pretty uh, familiar at this point. I really don't need to focus too hard on getting these kills. I just gotta make sure uh, if I get caught, I need to uh, resolve it. But that's not gonna work. Unfortunately, my timing was a bit off because I did fall this time. So I just have to wait a little bit longer to be able to inch up on him, like right now. But this time I didn't get caught. And I got your back. And I'll spring all that sent into me. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And rest and keep going. There we go. I can practice my parries on those guys. So I know my parries is not that great. Ooh, okay. I didn't even notice that was there. That might be an easier way to get up here. Not sure if it'll stay tracked on him. Yeah, no. So far, my timing is better on this one. <laughs> Means I may even get caught. Wait for you to turn away. And now you're dead. Unfortunate. Missed that one again. I don't know how. I feel like I did a little bit better that time. Oh well. No big deal. Oh, sorry. I just accidentally bumped my mic. Don't worry. It's not muted. I'm not going to make that mistake again. this way I'm not gonna move until he turns around I'm not gonna risk him seeing me there we go beautiful I did not. And you're dead.
unfortunately, these... I don't know, these people, I guess is the best way to say it, the soldiers, are not the best uh, experience from them. It's the bigger guys that give you a lot of experience. If I have to get through all these smaller guys to take care of the big guys, otherwise I get swarmed. And that's just not fun for anybody. Perfect, just turned around. I'm not close enough, am I? Oh, but I can at least get to this rock here. Just like that. Oh, no death blow, really? Give me a death blow on this guy. And level two. Or two points, I guess. Not level two. And let's commune. Sorry if this is boring for you guys, but I feel like this is really necessary before we proceed. That was really unfortunate. I didn't get the death blow. Alright, so I don't need to sneak everywhere. I can kind of walk up on them and they won't really notice until I'm on them. Right here I definitely need to sneak through though because of those big guys able to see me. Like that. That's rather unfortunate. Just that one guy saw me. Not doing anything until you turn around. There we go. Gotta wait again. It makes me really nervous to have this much scent on me. Let's actually uh, travel to a merchant real quick. Let's kind of break it up. Um, I don't know if I got everything from this merchant yet, so let's go back there. Also, I want to explore the tower a little bit more. It seems a little weird to only have a second floor um, with a tower that big. I want to see if there's anything I can, anything else I can do up there. I don't think so, because 
I already looked through and I ran around it so I wouldn't have noticed anything, but just to be on the safe side, I want to double check. I mean, look at that. That is huge to have absolutely nothing to do with it. Let's do that first. I don't need to talk to you. Anything to do around here? Oh. How did I not see that? over there. I see that chest there. Is there more? Oh, no, it's, it's decoration. Chest. Oh, that looks like a really good item. I would say that's a really good item. That's a prayer bead. I think you need those to uh, increase your vitality, or maybe you get another gourd. It's something like that. Right. Do I have anything left to purchase at you? No. May the departed rest in peace. That's nice. Uh, nope, not that. One more idol. Uh, last communed. Then I can just teleport from there. Or travel from there. Oh, excuse me. Now we'll commune here. I think it's abandoned dungeon entrance. Hmm. Wasn't one of these items like 5,000 sen? I feel like it was. Dare to purchase. Oh, interesting. Oh, I must have already purchased that. Yeah, uh, Mass Fragment Dragon 5000 Sen. Uh, I guess for now we'll just get all this stuff. And work our way up. That way I'm not just buying the coin purses immediately. Um, yeah, I'll save up for the Mass Fragment. Also, May the departed rest. Isn't there a merchant in Harada Estate? Uh, sure, we can go here, because I think it's down in the river behind that uh, spot. Right, you need scales, which I don't have any on me. Uh, it looks like I already bought the mass fragment right, the floating passage. Oh no, I bought these. 
divine grass and withered red gourd. So I still need these, but that's seven and five, and I don't have any on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I can do anything with these right now, so let's just uh, head back to the last commune and we'll head back to the farming spot and we'll call this an episode. You know, continue to farm until we get to that 5,000 sen and get the, uh, the experience. Uh, skill points, that's what it is. Ashina Vesvoir. So how many prayer beads do I have now? I think I see that at the idols, so I can check real quick. And then go through the... Well, I already said this is going to be the end of the episode, so I'll check real quick and then the end of the episode. I have... I have four prayer beads. Okay, we have, we have to go to the dilapidated temple real quick. And then we'll come back and end the episode. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think this will increase our uh, the amount of gourds we have, and you can't deny that's not good. I'm glad you've come. Give gourd. Oh no, it's gourd seeds. Goodbye. All right, I'm misinterpreting the prayer beads. Then it has something to do with this, doesn't it? It's attack power, no physical attributes. Yes. Uh, increases maximum vitality and posture, so it does raise our health and our defensive kind of. Nice. Okay, so that helps out a bit. Now we really need those uh, skill points to go into the healing. Ideally, I wouldn't need to, but you know me. I'm going to take damage regardless. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode. I appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.